how's the week of practice been for you so far? It's been a great week uh, of prep. Uh, the team's coming together, uh, cleaning up some details. I think we're looking really good, real confident. Um, obviously, film room as well, just prepping with the guys, the receivers, etc. So it's been good. How much did the two starts last year help prepare you for this moment? Yeah, they've done a great job. I mean, both were great opportunities. Um, and, and they've gave, given me good game experience. Obviously, two good teams, Louisville and, and Georgia. So uh, just seeing how, how fast the, the speed of the game is in a real game has helped a lot. And that's helped me translate it to practice as well. How much and where do you feel like you've grown the most since you were able to get those two starts up in spring and fall? Probably just grown the most in my headspace, um, understanding how fast the game is and how, how fast everything closes down and just getting a good pre-snap read, good post-snap clarification, um, just going through my reads. I don't know, I guess, when, when you officially knew, but Coach Rell told us yesterday, I guess, how nice is it this week knowing going in? You're not going to get sprung on you. You know early in the week that it's going to be you on Saturday. Yes, yeah, it's, it's good. Just being able to, to fully prepare, um, fully get my mind right for this week, and uh, just, just go out and execute with, with my teammates. What are things that you do to, to get your mind right to prepare for, for this moment? I'd say film study a lot. So just watching a ton of film, um, giving me great confidence in what I'll see and what I'll get and knowing where to go with the football. Coach Norvell said that DJ was a film study. I think this moment he's been like, he's got to be supportive. Yeah, D DJ's been awesome in the film study. He's been awesome. He, he, uh, he sees the game really clear. Um, and and he's, he's obviously a vet. He's been in this game for a while, so he knows what to expect, and he knows um, some, some tricks here and there to, to show and help speed up your mind. With this week, it looks like your, your first three starts are going to be against top 15 teams. How much do you embrace the, the challenge of getting thrown up against teams like of that caliber? Yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome. That's what you come to Florida State for. Um, it's, it's a great opportunity. Um, you know, you dream of playing the games like these, so just go out and have fun. I know, I know you and Jordan were really close last year. Has he reached out to you at all? Yeah, yeah, Jordan. Jordan, me and him have a great relationship. Obviously, we did last year as well. He's in the NFL now, the Jets, doing great. But, uh, yeah, we've talked this week and, and talked a good bit, so it's been good. Did you say you watched film with the receivers? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Talk about that interaction. Yes, sir, and that's something that DJ did a good job with as well, just getting the receivers together and watching with, as a whole group. And so I kind of tagged along and then uh, just kind of leading it here this week as well. So we just get together, um, go over practice, and clean up all the details and make sure we're good on our chemistry and, and, and timing. Can you talk a little bit about what those details are? Yeah, just, just route depths and, and knowing when and where the ball will be thrown, when to expect it. Who's the first person you texted and found out? Uh, I, I try to keep as quiet as possible, honestly, just gain an advantage, competitive advantage, but uh, obviously my family. What was their reaction? Oh, they're, they're excited. Is there, is there a challenge to not feel like you need to go Superman play the game? In terms of, you know, the team's been struggling and not doing I'm just going to go out, be me, do what I can do, and just have fun doing it. I mean, that's that's what you play the game for. When you're a little kid, you go out and you you, you enjoy, you truly enjoy playing the game. That's how I'm going to go out there, there Saturday night and just have fun. Coach Norvell seemed much happier with the practice today. Yeah. Did you feel that in practice? Absolutely, absolutely. And that's been a that's been a great emphasis, trying to have high intensity, high energy, just get the guys going. How important is it for you to, to keep the guys around you loose? Because you have that sort of energy to you. How important is it for those guys to kind of match that around? Yeah, I think I think energy is is very very beneficial, and uh, it, it just it just boosts the team morale up. So I think that's that's a, a good thing to have. What stands out about Clemson's defense? Seems like they got some real talent at each level of the defense. Yeah, they got a great playmakers. They're a really good football team. Got a good D line. Um, yeah, they're they're a good football team for sure. Obviously, when playing quarterback, you take on a leadership. You're obviously right, you're a freshman. But how are you approaching that? And kind of some of the younger guys and some of the veterans. Yeah, just trying to just trying to show my confidence in myself and my confidence in my receivers and playmakers as well as well as my O line. Just trying to build confidence in, in everybody around me and myself as well. What improvements have you seen out of Luke and out of Trevor this week? Kind of get, getting more reps. Yeah, they've been they've done a great job. Um, we're kind of helping each other out, all all three of us through it. Um, uh, going back and playing playing the play over again with each other and everybody's thoughts. So that's been great, and I think they've done a good job improving as well.
Thanks, bro. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Y'all have a good day.